Beginning tonight with the major contributor to our homelessness crisis, rent prices making it incredibly difficult for people to afford a stable home. A Washington Post analysis reporting rent has increased by 19% in Kern County since 2019. 23BC's Bonnie Patino joined us live in studio. Bonnie looked into what trends we are seeing here locally and resources available in the community. What do you have for us, Bonnie? That's right, Brianna. So the median rent in Kern County is based on Rent Cafe, a nationwide apartment listing service, and it's about $1,300. So we sought out to see what our viewers were facing in terms of this rent increase, and we saw that some of the responses through our Facebook forum were that, like, for example, this lady saying that her rent has increased from $100 and $160 in the past two years. This other lady saying that her friend's rent has increased by $150, calling it shameful. This other person saying that her rent, she used to pay 30, her landlord, sorry, wants her to pay $3,200 and currently they're paying $1,900. So these are just a couple of the stories, but there are so many others across Kern County that we're seeing. That's a, that's a big jump from 1,075 to 1,450. That's, that's quite a lot, especially right now. <laughs> Patrick Johnson, a Bakersfield native, lives with his kids, wife, and his mother-in-law. This increase happened in April and has had a large impact on their spending ability. We're budgeting tighter, um, you know, um, not really eating out, just saving our money, every little bit of our money that we actually have, you know what I mean? That is the case for so many people across the county. But Cassie Mulligan with Greater Bakersfield Legal Assistance says there are renters' rights people should be aware of. There is the Tenant Protection Act of 2019 that did create a rent increase cap for individuals. Um, but there are some specific criteria regarding that that you must qualify for. Um, and some of that criteria is, you know, you must be in, in the residency for at least a year or more. Some properties are exempt and others aren't. She suggests reaching out to see if your household qualifies, adding they have seen some landlords go around this cap, even asking tenants to move out so they can increase rent for a new tenant. A number of people have moved here for the lower cost of living from places like L.A. or the Bay Area. Um, that means that you know people who lived here before are having to cope with the the higher income uh, earners who are competing for the same units that people who already lived here. On average, he explains a healthy market will have a four to five percent vacancy rate. Anything below that indicates a severe shortage of housing. And Kern County has been at about one percent since the pandemic. Meanwhile, they continue to get a surge of calls for the Renters Assistance Program, which lasts until September 30th and pays up to ten thousand dollars in back rent. It covers Kern, including unincorporated areas. Sharples adds this increase in rent costs plus the low affordability home rates is undeniably tied. To to the homelessness crisis the county is already dealing with. Each person we're able to prevent from entering homelessness saves uh, local agencies about $30,000 a year. So this is, I think, the most cost-effective way in terms of addressing our homelessness crisis is to keep people in the houses where they are right now. Now he says that is why rental assistance programs like the ones through CAPK and the Housing Authority are so important. Now the CAPK team will be out in Ridgecrest tomorrow to help the desert communities fill out some of those applications and that version as well as there it is. <laughs> and that version as well as the online application will be linked on our website, turn223.com. At 6, we'll have more on how fair market price works and the impact on the situation. In studio, Vani Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Thank you, Vanya. And California has the fourth highest rent in the country out of all 56 American states and territories. We took an in-depth look at fair market rent prices for the state and for several counties, including Kern, to see just how high prices have climbed. But first, a look at the current renting situation and how fair market pricing works. According to rentdata.org, approximately 15% of Americans qualify for some, some level of housing assistance. So there are more than 5.8 million people in California who could be receiving housing benefits from HUD or Department of Housing and Urban Development. Fair market rent is determined each fiscal year by HUD and is used to set payment standards for federal housing assistance programs in California. And taking a look at the average fair market price for a one-bedroom apartment, the average rent in California last year was $1,205 a month. However, that average has since increased to $1,854 a month. Now, not all the data is in for each county for this year, 
But last year in Kern County, average rent for a one-bedroom apartment was $743 a month. For LA County, it was $1,605 a month. And the most expensive last year was San Francisco County at more than $2,900 a month.